It was called Jack the Bower. Uh, we were asked to do something creative or something for Grandpa, so I wrote a song. And I played this for him last time. I'll tell you why. Grandma is coming out. She right. wants to come out. Oh, that's why. Right. Right. She knows all this part. Well, we'll wait for her. She knows this part. Anyway, I played this for him the last time I, I saw him. And uh, I like to think he liked it. <laughs> Grandma, she's on her way out right now, and I know she wants to be out here. And for those of you who don't know, Euchre, Euchre is a Michigan game that Grandpa was the champion of, and Jack is the, the Jack is the bower in a Euchre deck. So do we have a chair out here for her? I'm sure most of uh, the Germans in the room know that. Uh, I hope everyone knows that. And the poll. The Germans in the poll, I saw no one. Yeah, Dawn. So Grandpa played this game called Euchre. So Grandpa played two Jacks. <laughs> one was called... Explain the rules. I think we should probably play if you were out before. Explain the rules before we get anything. Let's play a couple games of Euchre before he plays the song. Yeah. Ryan, <laughs> teach all the kids to play there. I say it louder, Justin. Yeah, it makes the joke better. Jack the Bauer. Okay, are we ready to go? No, okay. We gotta get this out of here. No, we're not. Grandma's. Oh. She's out. She's out. Are, are we beating an egg? What is that? So, Ryan, if everybody didn't hear, Ryan played this song for Grandpa the last time he saw him. I'm gonna try to do it. She's sitting tape this time. I, last time I talked all the way through it. Yes, it's time. Now you're gonna have the. Come on in, Mom. Oh, wait. Okay, now she's. Alright, I'll try and sing loud, but my voice doesn't carry very well. Okay. Oh, I think you're alright. Think Bob Dylan. <laughs> I was just kidding, man. You're better, boys. You think Jacob Dylan. I'll take Jacob Dylan. Okay, we can't talk. Think Gilbert Gottfried. Don't laugh. Right, Gilbert Gottfried. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody knows who Gilbert Gottfried is. I, just, I don't know. Gilbert Gottfried. All right, there's going to have a false start. <laughs> Sure. 
That's cool. Hey, very nice. Very nice. For, for those who may not know, um, Jack would uh, probably have the house here warm, but at hunting camp, <laughs> my lord, you would be sweating. And he would be there with his jacket on, his hat on, his boots laced, and just, just sitting there like this. And if he's not playing cards, he's sleeping. Or he's benching at you because you've been bringing enough wood. I walked, I walked in one night. I, I came up to see you guys one night. And I walked in and, and uh, just, I mean, hit with a, just a wave of heat when I walked in. And Uncle Gene and I think Tom, I don't know if, I think Uncle Daryl might have been there and Andy. You all had your shirts off, and you're sitting in your boxers or whatever. <laughs> and Dad's sitting right next to the, his seat was right next to the wood stove. And all of you and I said, "Holy crap, it's hot here!" And Gene says, "You think? Look at that son of a bitch!" And he, and I go over and you had a, there was a thermostat uh, uh, on the wall, a thermometer on the wall, yeah. and it said 104 <laughs> on the wall. And Jack goes, my dad goes. This is not hot in here. It's just right, damn it. Apparently, I uh, obviously had been having that argument as these guys are taking their clothes off. They all sit around no shirts on. This is only three years, three, four years ago. Yeah. Yep. They're all half naked, just about naked. That's just, just as happy as can be. It's not hot in here, damn it. <laughs> they, 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 they put a thermometer up. They brought. I think you must have brought it in from outside. And you put it up on the wall there in the living room. 